Game Ranks presents 10 stealth game concepts that make no sense. Now look, we love stealth games. It's personally one of my favorite genres. But sometimes it's fun to poke fun at some of the things that are just totally weird and bullshit in these games that don't make any sense. So let's get started with number 10. One of the most classic issues in stealth games is when two guards are sitting around having a conversation. Hey Vladimir, do you remember that time we killed that guy? Yes, that was good. And then you kill one of them, and the other one either just keeps talking or just stands there. And then you're free to just walk up behind him and take him out as well. Your friend's right next to you! You were just talking to him and he died right in front of your eyes. Or maybe right beside your peripheral vision. You didn't notice that? You didn't hear him hit the ground? You're a really terrible guard, Mr. Evil Vladimir Soldier, and an even worse friend. At number 9, in so many stealth games, you can flatten up against the wall and peek around a corner. Now, the real question is, they don't see the top of your head poking out from a half wall? Or they don't see your knee or your toe popping out from beside a corner of a wall? If these guards were really observant, they would see that shit. In a lot of games, you can poke your head out and peek around and not get seen by anyone. But it's really just those little things, the little top of your head or the top of your toe, or maybe even the side of your hand or the tip of your gun popping out, that these guards just don't notice. I guess they're just not observant enough. And they really should be more observant because, you know, they got what's coming to them. At number 8, there's the classic stealth game situation. There's a guard walking, you're creeping up behind him, and then suddenly, unfortunately for you, he starts turning. So you turn too, and he makes a full 180 or 360 degree turn, and you just keep following along, creeping behind him. You don't hear that? You don't hear- guard, you don't hear a person behind you? You can't feel a person right behind you spinning around as you spin around? The sneaking person in that game is either the ultimate ninja or you're completely deaf. But it's always a hilarious situation because it always reminds me of gags from old cartoons. And it's always really funny if the guard eventually overturns you and finds you standing behind him like an idiot. At number 7, Skyrim is guilty of a lot of stealth goofs. One of the most famous ones is doing anything with arrows. Here's the situation, there's two bandits, you shoot an arrow through one of their heads, and then the other bandit always says, Huh, must have been the wind. Must have been the wind? So the wind blew an arrow through your friend's fucking face and killed him? Wow, Tamriel must have some killer winds. At number 6, we have an entire squadron of dumb guards. Hey, there was a group of 5 guards that should be on patrol here. They usually pass around in front of us every 40 seconds for the last hour. Isn't it weird that all of a sudden they stopped and they completely disappeared? Maybe we should go and look past that corner, or maybe call someone? Seriously though, there's not a lot of stealth games where guards in certain positions are aware of other guards, and where they belong in the world. Some games are of course getting much better with that, with AI improving, but there's always groups of guards not giving a shit about where other groups of guards disappear to. Of course, the Metal Gear games kind of fixed it a little bit with having some guards call and check in. And that made things really difficult. At number 5, it had to have been said, you all know about it, the cardboard box trick. What the fuck is with that? Okay, Snake is literally my hero. S Snake is who I want to be when I grow up. I think he's the greatest man in all of video games and all of media. He's so cool. But that cardboard box trick is bullshit. Sorry, Snake. At number 4, something that doesn't make sense with some stealth games is that disguises don't always work as good as they should. There's a lot of games where you can walk around with a perfect disguise and if you hang around a guard too long he'll freak out and start shooting you. That doesn't make any sense at all. Some games, even if you keep your distance, you're still on a timer or something and your disguise will be found out. And it's just weird and it doesn't make sense and it doesn't really make the game more fun at all. Maybe if you did have a perfect disguise that nobody saw through, maybe it would make the game too easy, so maybe it's a gameplay design thing? I don't know. And especially in the Hitman games, as disguises always work fairly decent and pretty reasonable until Hitman absolution where people could see through your skies almost instantly. Every game handles disguises differently and some of them handle them pretty stupidly. And honestly, Mission Impossible 64 did it the best because you could wear other people's faces as disguises. At number 3, we have guards that aren't very good at investigating things. When you throw a brick at someone and it hits them in their face, and then it bounces off, and then the guard goes to investigate where the brick landed. Well, first of all, if I got hit in the face with a brick, well, number one, I would go to the hospital, but number two, I would try and find who threw the brick. Because a brick isn't a drop in a puddle, or a falling pebble, or any other things that might naturally make noise in the environment. That is a brick that someone threw. Why wouldn't you be a little more alert? This goes for a lot of games. Even throwing a glass bottle near a guard doesn't make him freak out and go, oh my god, somebody threw a glass bottle at me. It'll just make him a little curious about something going on. If I was guarding an alleyway and somebody threw a glass bottle at me, I would know shit's about to go down. Look, buddy, don't do anything stupid now. At number two, one of the best stealth game tropes are those guards that don't really remember things for too long. Hey, someone killed this other guard. Then they look around for 30 seconds. Eh, they must be gone. Time to go back to normal. Almost every stealth game is guilty of this in some way. Of course, Metal Gear Solid did work to improve this in some ways by adding different levels of alert phases that last for a long time. But ultimately, in most games, if you're patient enough, most guards will just forget about it in a minute or two and resume their post, even if there are four dead people laying around them. There are some games, though, that handled this very well, most notably the Arkham games. The more guards that you take out and the more the other guards 
guards find out, the more they freak out and search for you more frantically. They get more desperate and tense, and it's really cool. Also, Mark of the Ninja handled this really well, a game I can highly recommend. If a guard caught a glimpse of you or was alerted, he will never resume his original post. He'll always be on the lookout for you. Changing up the gameplay and making things more difficult and more fresh and less predictable. Forgetful guards is something that is so common in stealth games, makes no sense, but thankfully, thanks to AI improvements, it's starting to disappear. And at number one, the thing that doesn't make the most sense in stealth games is when they make cool stealth executions fun and awesome looking when they're not the correct or stealthy way to play. When the game actually penalizes you for being cool and taking out guys in a cool fashion. It's really frustrating, especially for players who want to seem like a cool stealth badass while also getting a perfect score in a level. When most of the time, sneaking up behind a guy and choking him out or putting a silenced pistol bullet in his head is technically not the best and most stealthy way to play, and it'll usually drastically hurt your score that could have otherwise been perfect. You're not detected, you're not really leaving that many traces except for a dead guy, so maybe they should be a little more lenient than that. And then of course, on the other hand, if you think about it, you want to be a complete ghost and make absolutely no trace, so maybe not touching anything should be an option. But maybe game designers, stop tempting us with such cool executions. You know, maybe just don't even put them in the game. Don't give us the option to be a complete badass like that. Make us do full 100% stealth and be a complete ghost if that's what you really want when you score us. So guys, those were 10 things in stealth games that don't make any sense. But of course, we love stealth games and we just want to laugh at them sometimes. But most importantly, we want to talk to you guys in the comments. Let us know, number one, your favorite stealth game. And number two, let us know the dumbest thing you've ever encountered in a stealth game that makes absolutely no sense. It could be any situation with a guard or whatever. And of course, if you did have a good time with this video, maybe give us a like because that's the best way you can help us out. And if you're new, subscribing is even better because we put out videos every single day. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.